Welcome to the Chief's Way. Now mash that subscribe button or drop it, give me 50. Hello YouTube. Today we're doing a video on how to add a fuse to your battery. If you can see up here, I've already added the fuse to these three batteries and I'm working on the other three. So this is my fourth attempt here. So um, <clears throat> what I'll do is that at the end, I'll explain why I'm fusing them. But right now, the first thing we need to do is to remove this uh, positive wire so we can attach the fuse to the wire. And the way we're going to do it is we have our fuse. It's a 100 amp fuse. I have an Allen bolt here. The reason I got these is because there's very little, you know, protruding out the end here. It's not like a big bolt that's going to be wider and it's kind of rounded. Then I have a flat washer, a lock washer, and a uh, bolt to go on here. And this was just stainless steel, which is uh, what they happen to have at Menards. So I'm going to go ahead and get this red wire off, and then we'll check the next step. Okay, the uh, the red wire is detached. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I got the bolt in the fuse. I'm going to put that through the uh, the cable. Now I'm going to add a flat washer, lock washer, and a bolt and tighten that down. Okay, we got that all connected up. So now we're gonna hook it back to our positive uh, battery terminal. Okay, so everything's hooked back up and tightened down. So now I'll explain to you why I'm doing this. The manufacturer of these batteries, and most batteries, only, only tell you to put four batteries into parallel. And I have six at the moment. And the reason I believe they're only telling you to put four is in there because each one of these batteries has a BMS. It's a 100 amp BMS, but it'll output up to 200 amps for three seconds. So if we have a short down here somewhere with four batteries, we would output, uh, you know, up to 800 amps before these BMSs would shut down. But if we got added a fifth battery, now we're up to 1,000 amps. 6th battery, 1,200 amps, 7th battery, 1,400 amps, and so on and so on and so on. So what I'm doing is, to be safer, I'm putting on a 100 amp fuse on each one of the batteries. So I'll never pull 100 amps out of all these batteries, the 6 batteries. I'll never use 600 amps. My main fuse... Or the system up there is just 200 amps because that's all that is really needed for a 2000 watt inverter so 100 amps if there's a short these fuses will blow and protect the whole system all right so if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe just a disclaimer here at the end of the video uh this is i don't recommend this because this is not what the manufacturer recommends but this is just what i'm doing so I'm not recommending this, but this is what I'm doing. All right, thanks and bye.